We've already installed Firebase and the Angular Fire SDK. So now we can head to our project and inside of the source folder, and the app directory is our root ng module. So if you navigate to app module.ts, we can import the Angular Fire module. And that is from Angular Fire 2. So now that we've done that, we can head over to our imports and we can initialize Angular Fire with credentials from the dashboard. So we can say Angular Fire module dot initialize app, and then we need to pass in the configuration credentials. So let's create a file inside of the app folder, and we'll call that Firebase dot credentials dot ts. And we can export a constant in here. So this makes the constant accessible from elsewhere. So we can import this named Firebase underscore credentials. And we can make this equal to the credentials on our Firebase dashboards. So if we head back over to our Firebase dashboard, we have this button here named add Firebase to your web application. This should be your credentials that appears here. And instead of pressing copy, what I want you to do is instead just take this object. So take everything inside of the braces. And if you copy that, we can place it back inside of our Firebase credentials file. And if we just paste over our braces like that, we should have our project configuration settings. Obviously yours is gonna be different than mine and it will contain the actual information instead of my placeholder. After that, you can save the file and you can close this file. Then inside of our app module.ts, we'll need to import that Firebase credentials constant. So let's import from Firebase credentials. We want to import the Firebase credentials constant. When we've done that, we can initialize our Angular Fire app with the credentials. So we can pass through Firebase underscore credentials. And as simple as that, that's all the configuration we need to do as far as getting Firebase in our application. We've given Firebase the API key, the database reference URL, and so on. Let's take a look now, we're interacting with our database. 